Well, you know, when you think of the moon, uh, it's the old man moon, the old devil moon, but it's the same moon. You have never seen the backside of the moon unless you've looked at pictures from the Russian and the American space program. You always see the same side of the moon. So the moon is synchronized with the orbit of the Earth, but not because of alien technology, but because of tidal forces. You see, the moon is not perfectly spherically round. And because of that, it is slightly flattened at the poles. And if you then use Newton's laws of motion and calculate a stable orbit of, let's say, a football as it goes around the Earth, the stable orbit is when one side of the football always faces the Earth. And so one day on the moon is 30 Earth days, because it takes 30 Earth days for the moon to make one complete revolution, because the moon is synchronized with the Earth. Same thing for the planet Mercury. The planet Mercury is not totally synchronized, but you can also see that tidal forces have changed Mercury, and so that its day is slightly correlated with the year. So, in other words, it is tidal forces. In fact, the moon is leaving us by tidal, the same tidal forces that lock the moon facing one side to the Earth is also making the moon leave us at the rate of a few inches per year. You can actually measure this effect, by the way, by shooting laser beams on the moon, calculating how long it takes for the radar to bounce off the moon and come back, and then, bingo, you can actually calculate the distance from the Earth to the Moon, and that's a question of tidal forces.